Hello everybody, Max Carnage here, and welcome to my beginner's guide for Don't Starve. I gotta tell you guys, I purchased Don't Starve off the Steam Summer Sale, and it is an amazing game. I'm addicted already. So if you guys find them useful or entertaining, just let me know, and I'll be making a lot more of them for you. <laughs> Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some sticks, some flint, you're going to want some grass, some flowers, and you're going to want some food of course. If you're lucky you'll have carrots lying around along with the berry bushes. Basically what you want to do is pick up everything you see and it's going to be like that for the next few days. <laughs> At least until you get a base established and then we'll talk about that in the, the next video probably. <laughs> All right, I'm sure you can all handle clicking on this stuff, so I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. Six and a half hours later. All right, one lame joke and six hours later, and it is starting to get dark out. Now you see the uh, the cursors over there in the uh, the red section, right? Now you're saved there, but when it hits the dark blue, you're going to get killed if you don't have a light source. So what you want to do is make an axe, get a few logs out of the trees, and then you can make a campfire. And that'll give you light through the night as long as you feel it. Now you might notice that because it's dark, your insanity is starting to go down. So what you can do is if you get 12 flowers together, you can make yourself a flower hat. And that will make your insanity go up during the daytime. Now you only need about 3 logs to fuel the campfire. Once you get that, you're pretty much good for the night. Just gonna fast forward through this again. Now if it's raining, your fire will go out twice as fast, so be aware of that. Alright, back to normal speed. Now it's important to keep in mind the brightness of your flame. If that thing goes out, then you are dead, and it is game over. You will be eaten by a guru, or whatever the heck it is that kills you at night. Now you've almost survived the night, and what you want to do is cook all your food. If you got berries, cook them up. If you got carrots, cook them up. Eat your fill. You don't want to starve in a game called Don't Starve. <laughs> you will probably want to start thinking of what you want to do tomorrow. I recommend exploring, because you'll want to find stone and gold. The reason you want to find these is so you can make an improved campfire and so you can make a science machine, which will get you access to another tech level. I also built some traps so I can catch rabbits the next day. That way you don't have to live off of berries and carrots the rest of your life, assuming you're not a vegetarian. <laughs> Congratulations, you survived your first night. Now I like to spend most of my early days exploring, and you'll want to definitely do so if you have not yet found any gold or stone. As you'll see shortly, I got extremely lucky on this map. Yep, there's me walking down the road, and bam, jackpot. Now don't get discouraged if you don't find gold or stone in your first few days. You can easily survive using the methods I've already taught you. Alright, I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'll fast forward it for you guys. Okay, here I am setting down some rabbit traps. As you'll notice, sometimes you'll catch rabbits faster than you think, especially if you bait the boxes. It 
Some nice juicy carrots for them rabbits. <laughs> Already caught one. It's that easy. Okay, not usually that easy. <laughs> you don't have to actually bait these boxes if you plan on leaving them alone for most of the day. You will want to continue gathering everything in sight. Once you get the science machine up and running, you'll be able to prototype a shovel. And that will let you dig up and transplant many of the plants around the world. Your character moves faster on roads, and I recommend using them to explore further during the daytime. Alright, it's starting to get darker now. I usually set up my campfire near a bunch of trees, so I have something to do during the night. Here's a nice spot. Okay, let's build the fire pit. It's a safer and more efficient campfire, and the fuel will last twice as long. It's also less susceptible to rain. That big old booty there is a wormhole. I don't have time to explain it in this video, but it'll definitely be going in part two. All right, we got our science machine up, and I'm gonna show you a couple cool things you can make with it. First off is a shovel. You wanna make one of those. Next is a backpack, and that's going to give you some more space. Eight more slots to deal with. Isn't that nice? Now with the shovel, you can start digging up crops so you can transplant them later on. Now that's lucky. That's an altar, and if you die, you will respawn there instead of having game over. All of your junk that was on your person will be sitting where you died, and you have to go get it. But the important thing is, it's not game over. Now that's all the time I've got today. I will definitely be making a part two. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please like and subscribe for more. If you have any specific guides you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comments below. Hopefully my video was useful. Thanks for watching it.